Stratman a left open, and she has hit a couple from long range. Syracuse now up eight to two. In and, and uh, things can get it's amazing much better. what can happen if you work at it. That's a great start, isn't it, for Jasmine Jones? All the details of the game. And I think they're figuring that out. And if you don't figure it out, you're going to lose. Because the ACC is tough. Which, when their teams are in front of them, offensively in the second half, they have a different playbook almost. A lot of that has to do with effort. A lot of that has to do with long threes. And there's an excellent out inbounds play. Good post up on the inbounds by Engsler. Easy for Syracuse. And the three drops in to make it a one point game. Emily Engsler with a couple of big buckets behind Lewis. Shook, finally. She loves that three at the top of the floor. I mean, we're in the ACC today, so I'm going to keep it talking about those two teams right now. The other one is South Carolina is terrific. Those freshmen are outstanding as Evans finally hits from outside the arc. He's going to heat up. It just took a while. Foul, count it. Look at Job Taldi. This kid can play. Mary Lewis, the point guard this year. In. Hyman with the big three. And rebound by Lewis. Numbers for Syracuse, four on two. Hyman again, on fire! The freshman. Lewis. Hyman, the freshman, earning some minutes here in crunch time. And a sweet over the shoulder move. We've seen that a couple of times from Thinkley. 100 games in, coming up with Scott Van Pelt. Oh, Balagoon missed two free throws and then finds redemption. And Hyman, number five, has hit three of them today. She doesn't get a shot off. Hyman is frustrated. She was all by herself. They didn't get her the ball. Instead, it goes to the Cardinals. And Louisville goes to 12 and 1. They had to really earn this one this afternoon.